Push. You gonna pull? You're strong. Yeah. Push. You like those? Yeah. I have a feeling you're gonna like everything we pull out of these boxes. Since it's February and it's getting a little bit warmer outside, we're gonna start thinking about having a garage sale. I say we are starting to think about it, but we've already thought about it and we're having one. Last year we had one about this time when we came back from Texas and we did really, really well. Um, I don't know if it was because we did it early in the year. Hold on, please. I don't know if, we, if it was because we did it early in the year or if we did it around the end of February, early March when the pandemic was really starting to get rolling and nobody could really go anywhere. But our neighborhood in particular did really well. So we have several totes here that we've been filling throughout the last year of clothes that Story has grown out of, um, things that just don't fit or they're out of season. Today we're gonna go through them all and try to make some kind of organized sense out of everything because if you're anything like me and you're sentimental, there are some special things that I want well, to yeah. keep. And so I'm gonna make a pile of those and I'm gonna make a pile of things that we're gonna sell. And we're gonna try to do that. It doesn't fit, it's too small. But we're gonna try to do it so that we can fit everything we're keeping into one bin. One thing that we didn't account for when we moved to the South was that we aren't gonna have a basement anymore. And when we lived in Missouri, we had all this space in our basement to keep things that we didn't use and seasonal decorations and things like that. So now, since we're here in the South and not many people, if anybody, has a basement, we have to use our attic for everything, which means we're limited on space to keep these plastic totes. No, that, and I'm trying really hard not to become a hoarder. Story's already pulled out all of her shoes, so we'll start with those. But this is basically everything that was in this short little shallow tub. So I'm gonna go through these and just see if there's anything that we wanna keep, or if there's anything that we wanna try to sell on Marketplace, or if we just wanna put it in our garage sale. <laughs> you like these and these? No, this no, is how no. this is gonna go. No. I don't think they fit your foot. Not yet. Try it on. See if you can fit your foot in there, Cinderella. <laughs> to go. I think we're gonna move on to this bin now. There's a lot of, it's mostly clothes, but I think there's some, maybe some washcloths and stuff too. So a lot of this might end up being garage sale. Let's go through it. Cupcake jammies. Yeah. And you're growing out of all of these. Yeah. You're gonna unfold everything, aren't you? Yeah. everybody what you just did. <laughs> you are such a goon. You're such a little goon. This we can't show daddy because he'll get really sad that we're getting rid of it. This is where we would typically struggle if Tim and I did this together because he would want to hang on to this because he's such a big blues fan. I on the other hand I'm trying to limit what we hang on to, and while I understand the sentiment to him, we also already have some blues onesies that she wore when she was a baby. He must know we're talking about him because he's calling me right now. One moment, please. No, no, mommy. I see you. This is what happens whenever you try to go through your child's clothing, yeah. and she doesn't want to get rid of it. She wants to put it all on so that we can't get rid of it. So here's the bottom line. We're just going to go through all of this stuff and if it was from if it was from places like Old Navy, Walmart, Target, 
Carter's or if I had it as a hand-me-down things like that and they're not sentimental I'm gonna put them in the garage sale if it's a brand that I know I paid a little bit more money for and I want to try to recoup some of that money I'm gonna put it in a separate pile so that I can either list it on marketplace or something like Poshmark <laughs> I'm going to go through this bin and separate all of that now. <laughs> they see you, honey. They see you. <laughs> this was one of the cutest things she had when she was like... 18 months old. This is just like a really thick, fuzzy, lined cape with these little gold buttons. Oh my gosh, it's just adorable. Little Nike shorts. I'm gonna put these on Marketplace because I know these will do a lot better there than they will um, in a garage sale. I'm already changing my mind. So I have these two big totes, like the 64 quart or whatever they are, like the standard tote size. Two of those filled with clothes. And then I had this smaller one that I had all the shoes in. What I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put everything in here that I'm gonna keep. And then one of the big boxes I'm gonna use for garage sale items. And then the other big box I'm gonna use for marketplace items. It's a lot smarter to do this when your child is sleeping because this is taking a lot longer than it needs to take. Burn. One of our favorite brands for kids is called Jamie K and she's a boutique designer out of New Zealand. And all of her pieces are made with organic cotton, natural dyes. They all coordinate so that you can, you know, potentially buy one piece from one collection and then like, you know, four or five collections down the road, it could coordinate well with, you know, a, a new piece and an old piece. That being said, we have a lot of Jamie K stuff. The price point is higher for obvious reasons because it's all made organically and <clears throat> You know, it's, it's really high quality stuff. However, we buy things that are a little bit bigger so they're more loose fitting and then she can wear them for at least two years because she'll wear them oversized for the first year and then she'll wear them true to fit the, the next year. We only get rid of Jamie K items when she truly has outgrown them. No, no, this. Or whenever we buy so many things that we forget which pieces we ordered and we get doubles. So this is one of those things that I actually ordered on sale for like Black Friday a couple years ago and then I got it again. So I'm gonna probably make a separate pile for Jamie K. Just because I know there are Jamie K resale groups on Facebook that I could list these on and get at least half of what I paid versus selling them at a garage sale for like a dollar. If I if that ever happened somebody would be getting a steal on some of this stuff. This outfit right here is Jamie K. <laughs> so that's two boxes. Now we have our third box. And from here, we'll just go through each piece and decide if we want to keep it, list it, or sell it. This piece I bought before Story was even born because I love the colors in it. And it's one of these traditional smocked dresses that are really popular here in Charleston. And she wore it a couple times, but she she really didn't wear it too much because we were in Texas around the time that this fit her. No, this is mama. So this one is going to go down as one of those sentimental pieces for us. And I'm going to put it in this small box. Another thing to keep in mind, at least for, for us, is whether we're gonna have any more kids or not. And I know that's a question that's come up between Tim and I, but we really need to think about whether we're gonna have any more kids or not, because if we do, there's a small chance that we could have another girl. So 
I don't necessarily want to purge everything because then we're gonna have to buy all new clothes, which on one hand is fantastic for me because it's one of my favorite things to do. Who doesn't like buying girl clothes? But I also don't wanna leave it sitting in the attic for however many years until we decide that's gonna happen because it's gonna be out of style by then anyways. So I really have to think about what pieces are really special to us. Yes, yeah, Mama. Oh. We're gonna have to take a brief commercial break for some, some Bible study with story. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it quits here for today. I got my three bins organized for the most part, how I want it. So I've had these bins sitting in my room for several months now. And what I would do is just whenever there's something that she doesn't fit in anymore, I would take it out of her closet, out of her drawer, and then just go put it into one of these bins. And that's why one of these was so packed. And then I had a second one, I worked on that. And then I had the third one for shoes. So that's basically what I did today is just kind of rearrange everything I had into the bins that I wanted it in so that whenever we do have our garage sale, I know which bin to grab and take outside. And I can tell Tim which one to grab and take outside so that our sentimental stuff doesn't end up on a folding table in our driveway. This is the small bin that I had the shoes in and what I did is put everything in here that I want to keep and hold on to. This big tub here is the biggest one and this is going to be the garage sale tub you know it was either a hand-me-down or we didn't pay very much for it um things that i'm okay selling for a low price and then over here is everything that we either purchased from a boutique or you know is a name brand something or other that i want to try to recoup some of the cost from this has worked really well for me since Story's been born. So she's about two and a half now, and we've been doing this since day one. And it's really helped to kind of narrow down what pieces I wanna keep and what pieces to get rid of so that I'm not stuck with, you know, 50 tubs of every single thing she's ever had because that is definitely overwhelming and we don't have the space for it. It also helps to kind of weed out her drawers and her closet so they're not busting at the seams. I like to do this as we go. So it's not such a daunting process whenever we decide to have our garage sale. You know, I can break it into like, you know, little segments like we did today where I'm just organizing these bins. So like tomorrow or later this week, I might actually go through her closet one more time and take out everything winter because she's probably not gonna wear that very much anymore. I'll hang on to a few jackets and long sleeves and things like that, but for the most part, anything with snowflakes, anything with snowmen or Christmas trees, that's gonna come out. And then in her drawers, it'll be the same situation with these because we've got a whole drawer, well, I say a whole, maybe three quarters full of a drawer of pants. Some of them she'll probably wear into like through the spring when we have chillier mornings and then maybe in the fall. But some of these are two tees and she's going to grow out of them in the next like month or two, I would say. And then some of them will just, you know, they'll be out of season. We've got fall colors, winter prints. So we'll go through all of this and pull out what we're not going to wear anymore and then fill another bin and start the process over. Anyways, so it's about 11.42. We have to get going and get lunch done because somebody needs a nap. Um, I hope this was helpful. I, I get a lot of questions from friends and people all the time about like, you know, how do we keep her drawers like organized? How do we keep her closet organized? Because it's a well-known fact we buy a lot of clothes. Um, so it's kind of hard to believe that we can keep everything organized, but we really can if we just keep on top of, you know, things that don't fit and things that are out of season. So it's really helpful for me to do it this way. Maybe it'll be helpful for you. Try it out. Let me know what you think. If you have any tips you can share with me to make this process easier with a two-year-old, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> I think that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and we'll see you later this week.